kind of low-key hitting. Can't tell me nothing. Stomach going flat flat and the ass on what's that? Taylor and I'm back with another video oh, I have so many clothes I have so many clothes it's it's starting to be a problem okay but if that's what you're here for then you're gonna get more of what you like if this is your first time coming to my channel my name is Taylor I'm a real estate agent here in the Austin Texas area but on my channel I literally have everything from fashion to lifestyle to realtor day in the life vlogs realtor tips um did i say travel yeah but that's that's basically it fashion travel lifestyle and real estate stuff okay so if you're here for that hopefully you consider subscribing and if not please at least give me a like or a little comment or something give a little input put your two cents in okay so let's get started this haul today is from White Fox. It's an Australian um, online boutique, I believe. I had never purchased anything from them before until I just, you know, saw some of the internet girls um, had a lot of sponsorships with White Fox. So I figured I would check them out. To me, they're a little bit more um, expensive than Fashion Nova. And the threshold for free shipping is a lot higher. I think it's like $150 for free shipping, whereas like Fashion Nova is like 75. So I don't really care for that, but, and I also don't know how much the shipping is because I never got it, but I know it's only like $10 to return. So that's nice. So I'm hoping that the regular shipping is not more than maybe 10 or $15. But if you've ever purchased anything from White Fox under their free shipping threshold, let me know. Um, you know, put it in the comments because I am curious as to how much their shipping cost is. But overall, I actually really like White Fox. I don't think they're as diverse as like Fashion Nova or um, Princess Polly or a Boohoo or a Pretty Little Thing. But I actually prefer that because I actually get a little bit overwhelmed by how many choices there are on some of these websites like Shein. Shein, I just have to like pick a section and just decide that's what I'm buying from that day because Shein probably has millions of stuff and it's just too hard to keep up with things in their warehouse. It's too scary even, it's too intimidating. You can spend days and days and days on there. And then after you're done, they probably uploaded more stuff and you have to start all over. But um, I like White Fox. They have some really cool pieces. I'm not entirely sure everything is worth the price, but I feel like the stuff that I purchased, I actually feel like is worth the price. And a lot of these things I got on sale, like for example, this top. Um, I'm not sure how much it was originally, but I think I only got it for like $20 or $25. Which, I mean, I guess that's a lot for fast fashion, but I don't know. This is such an interesting top. Like, I feel like it looks very expensive, but it's so fascinating because it's literally just a plain top with this like sheet of fabric draped across the front. But the way that they have it draped looks so expensive to me. I'm not, it's very tight. I'm not gonna lie to you. Um, but I feel like that's what's giving it like bustier corset vibes and I don't know I feel like if I had gotten a large in this because this is a medium I don't think it would have fit How I wanted it to fit like this. It's like, okay, if I squeeze It looks really nice, right? And I don't think anything's gonna like bust or rip and the material is like very thick So I feel very sturdy and secure. I'm not sure entirely if I might have a little nipple gate but so far so good. I haven't worn this yet and I actually feel like it's giving a little bit even since I've had it on like these few minutes I've had it on to film this video. I feel like it's a lot more comfortable than it was. But I know I can only wear this with something high waisted because it's so tight kind of here that I know it's like pushing some of my fat down. So it's probably like 
very large down here and I have to wear something high-waisted to like conceal it a little bit. <laughs> like the color blocking conceal it. I can't wear this with like a bodycon skirt, not at the weight that I'm currently at, okay? That's all I gotta say about that. But I really have been having a corset moment right now. So I love corsets, I love bustiers, and this isn't quite that. It doesn't have any like wiring or cinching, but you can see like how it, it gives a little bit of corset action, okay? So I guess I kind of already went into the first item, um, but I also really like how it has this kind of strap here. Yeah, I could have did without this strap, but I don't know, it's offering something a little bit unique. And if I wanted to, I could always like, I feel like I could kind of shift this to the back and have it kind of crossed over the back. I don't know, but I really like, I'm fine with it being in the front. And if I really get annoyed, I'm sure I could just cut it off. But I think it's kind of cool. And it offers something a little bit different. And um, that's what I like. I, I told you guys I'm in the year of everything I buy has to have something unique and interesting about it. It has to bring me joy. It has to excite me. Even if it's something basic, it has to either be good quality, interesting stitching. Something about it has to be worth it, the money. I don't care if I'm spending $500 or $5. Don't care. So... Um, I mean, I'm not a huge fan of the fact that this is zipper. I feel like that kind of cheapens things, but I'm going to tell you right now, I would not have been able to get into this top if it didn't have a zipper. If it was something, oh, okay, well maybe they could have did a concealed zipper, but as tight as this top is, I'm happy that it's an old, you know, sturdy, you know, standard zipper. Because if it was one of those kind of thin zippers that are minimal and concealed, I probably would have been busted that thing just trying to put the shirt on so overall I'm I'm just happy with how this shirt is I'm happy with the price that I paid for it and I'm very excited to see how I decide to style it but I will say it doesn't look that bad with these jeans so maybe high-waisted jeans might be the move let me know in the comments and if I can find this I will link it down below for you guys okay let's get into the next thing guys this is the next item I decided I wanted to kind of keep up with the corset type thing I absolutely love this I have it zipped up all the way right now but I tend to actually wear it just a little half zipped I prefer it like that to be honest because it gives a little bit of cleavage like this is you know I, I don't have a lot of breasts but I just feel like that looks smushed and smashed so I'm not like I mean it doesn't look awful but I feel like this would probably look better if I was like wearing a mesh top or something underneath. Whereas like on a regular, if I'm just wearing the corset, I like just this. So this is super cool. Like every time I um, have shown people this, people are like, wow, that is such a cool outfit. I got this um, for $25, I believe it was on sale. And they had it in white too and i was like oh, when i saw this i was like oh i gotta get the white and they were sold out in the white and i'm like damn it but i didn't know that was my first time shopping at white fox like how was i supposed to know but y'all this corset just cinches you in so good it's so unique like it's literally giving like batman i don't know what it's giving i've never seen a corset like this it's giving like moto moto sport like that's what it's giving and it gives you like the most beautiful like hourglass silhouette it's giving Pamela Anderson I don't know what the name of that movie is where she was like crouched down with the gun out I don't know what that movie is where she had like the bob barbed wire oh well I think that's a real tattoo that she has but it's giving that movie okay with Pamela Anderson in the 90s if I can find a picture of that movie I'll have to try to insert the picture so you guys don't think I'm crazy but I love this the way that I've had this styled is with like my um, Mesa Margiela jeans um, if I have a picture of that I will insert it as well but they're like these wide leg jeans they have splits on the side they are amazing and they're super edgy and just unique and I paired it with this and I absolutely love it and I usually use my Balenciaga bag. It's a green bag. 
it's a bright green bag actually and i feel like it just adds a little bit of flair and sexy and spice to the outfit and i literally love this i i just it's so interesting like I have a lot of leather tops. Like I love leather. That's like one of my favorite materials that I'm super excited for every time fall and winter comes. But like this faux leather looks so real to me. And I just love like all of the details. Like you cannot tell me this looks like $25. Like, cause that's not what it's giving. Not at all, not one bit. The back. It's so sturdy, you guys. Like it has the wire. Oh, actually it doesn't have wire. Oh, that's just, that's just sewed. Okay, that's just stitching, you guys. This isn't actually wire. That's just like gathered material. You guys, if I can find this, it will be linked down below because this is A1. Like I absolutely, this is my favorite thing out of everything that I purchased. It's that good. So let's move on to the next thing because if not, I'm gonna keep talking about this and like all the other things that I wanna do with it. You know what? I do wanna say one other thing. Um, what I like a lot about this corset is like the way that it fits me in particular. It's tight, it accentuates the waist and everything, but it's not, it's cropped. So it doesn't go down too far and it's not up so high like that other shirt where it's more like a bralette type. Like this is a perfect length of corset for me. It still shows a sliver of skin, but it's not so tight that it's bunching up my, my stomach fat at the bottom. So I just have like this big gut at the bottom and it's super tight here. I just, I have so many great things to say about this top. And like I said, if I can find it, I need to link it down below because all of you need this top. Like, look at this. And depending on your cleavage, like again, I don't have a lot of cleavage, so I like to wear it down. But um, if you like that look, um, you know, go for it. But for me, this does absolutely nothing for me. This just looks like it's too tight. Okay, now I can go into the next thing. Okay, hear me out. Another corset, I know. But this one, I feel like, I don't really like the way that it, it does something strange kind of in this area. It looks like a little bit too small because of like how it's shaped. And also I have like a really big upper body. So I have to be careful with how I wear this. But hear me out. I was thinking that I could wear this with a oversized blazer because then the detail kind of just peeks through a little bit and I feel like it looks so much more like upscale with a blazer. Can you imagine with like some pointy, um, pointy boots? Do I have some in here? Okay, I'm gonna see. I feel like this is kind of low key hitting. Can't tell me nothing, okay? Let's see what it's giving. Um, okay, not with these pants. I'm thinking like wide leg jeans because I do have quite a few pair of wide leg jeans. Um, or maybe even just unrolled. But I'm thinking like some baggy jeans, like maybe even those same Mason Margiela jeans. But I'm feeling it. Yes, a pointy boot with a point barely showing. This corset, this blazer. I think I might keep it just so I can wear this together. I really, really like this. Wow, that is a look. I cannot wait. I cannot wait. There's nothing like some jeans and an oversized blazer. Like, I don't know when oversized blazers became a thing again, but I'm here for it. And this is a trend that I just don't want to go away. Sometimes people go a little too far. Like, if you're a small, maybe buy a medium or large, but when you start getting into the 2X, 3, some, sometimes y'all be doing that, okay? 
I'm trying to be more like Hailey Bieber in that way. I don't want to get, you know, she's very much oversized blazer girl. Um, I really like it. Let me know in the comments what you think, but I think the blazer might be the move because I'm really not a fan of it by itself. I'd have to figure out how to style it or like I have to wear something to cover my arms and just show the detail because this does not look good to me. Like it makes my arms look super brolic. You know what? Maybe I could wear like a little turtleneck underneath. Sorry, my rug. Um, I could maybe wear like a little mesh um, turtleneck because I have a few of those that might work, but I'm not sure. So far, that's the look that I have. And since that works, I just might keep this because I don't remember how much this was, but it couldn't have been more than $40. I know that for, for a fact, it can't be more than $40. Um, and that's, well, $40 with or without a, the promo code, I'm not sure, because I always use a promo code because there's so many influencers that shop and work with um, White Fox that you can at least get 15% off. But I think I bought this around the holidays. I might've gotten 30% off. All I know is I'm keeping it for right now. That's, that's my thought process right now is to wear it with the blazer and see what that's giving. This is such a nice dinner look. Can't tell me nothing, nothing, nada. You can't tell me nada, okay? I like it. Okay, on to the next thing because if not, I will stay here and talk about this shirt some more. This top to me is giving like Casablanca, not the movie. Um, wait, what other types of Casablanca are there? I only know the movie, but is is Casablanca actually a place? Morocco. Oh my God, it's the largest city in Morocco. Oh, I hate being ignorant. Okay, but I at least, I, I sought the information, right? Like, oh my gosh. The largest city in Morocco and the country's economic and business center. Located on the Atlantic coast of the Chu, Chu I'm not gonna try to pronounce that, plain in the central western part of Morocco, the city has a population of about 3.71 million people in the urban area. Wow. Wow. Casablanca. Okay. Well, when I say Casablanca, I was referring to the clothing label Casablanca. They make a lot of resort wear. Um, I saw, um, to be honest with you, I only found out about them recently. They've made a lot of clothes that kind of look like jerseys that you would wear um, for... Um, me personally, I feel like they look like more for like the motor sports, like the Indy 500, the... Um, that thing that I just went to a few a few months ago. Oh my gosh, it happens in Austin every every year. But it looks like the race car jerseys to me. But they um, make a lot of really nice silk shirts and stuff. But uh, outside of those, they make a lot of like resort wear stuff that you would wear on vacation. Um, so when I saw this top, I was like, oh wow, it's so interesting. And it's giving me that vibe for less, like way, way less. And um, I got it oversized because all of their shirts kind of are oversized. Like I never really see people wear their real size. I mean, I could have probably done a small medium. This is a medium large, I believe, but I really wanted to just wear this as a, um, a bathing suit cover up. So I wanted it to kind of like just, you know, be loose and stuff. Um, if I wasn't just wearing a bra, well, who cares? Nobody cares. I'm not naked. 
but um if i wasn't just wearing a bra like you see how cute that would look can you imagine with like a really skimpy bikini i think that would look really really nice but outside of that i feel like there are a lot of different ways that i could wear it like i could wear it with a crop top underneath a bralette um i could wear this with some leggings it looks really cute with jeans and let me tell you how I would wear it with jeans. I, to be honest with you, I'm a big tucker inner. When I have a baggy oversized shirt, I kind of just like to tuck it in on one side and let the other side kind of hang down. But this shirt is like so long, I don't know if that's like cute or not. But I feel like I can make it sexy by wearing it with a bralette underneath. Um, I don't know. I'm gonna have to play around with it for a little bit, but I do think that I wanna keep it because I don't really have a lot of beach cover-ups and I feel like I could really play around with this. Like I could scrunch it up and the quality to me is actually really nice. Like look at these sleeves, like look at the cuffs. Three buttons, extra long. It's um not just like a cheapy chiffon, like this is kind of like a nice high quality chiffon. And it says Sao Paulo. I hope I'm saying that correctly. Um, there's pictures all over it of, you know, what looks to be like a hotel. Um, I really, really like it. And like I said, I just gotta play it up. I think, you know, with makeup and does it, did it look good earlier when I had it tucked in both ways? I mean, on both sides. I don't feel like that looks bad. But I'm really like, like I said, a person that, you know, tucks in on one side, leaves the other side open. Um, so I just don't know how to like really do it with this shirt because it's so long. I wonder if I could like do it off the shoulder a little bit. Mm. How about that? like that I never I've never done that like a little bit off the shoulder and maybe I'll button it one more button maybe I'll tuck it in that way I kind of like that it's very interesting you gotta have like the right look for something like that um, because I mean, I could just do both shoulders and like tuck it into my bra. Nah, that's doing too much. I think the, the one shoulder is kind of like, okay. But I'd have to be wearing like the right bra for it. <laughs> um, let me know in the comments how you would wear this shirt. Do you think it looks better off the shoulder? Do you think it looks better just like how I had it tucked in on one side? Oh wait, okay, I didn't realize I could make it a little bit shorter by like tucking it in a little bit more. Nah. I'm gonna have to play around with it. But I hope to figure out something because I don't want to take it back and I would really love for it to be versatile where I could wear it for a cover up and a shirt. But if not, I'm fine with it just being a shirt. That's that's okay. But it would be really great if I could figure out a way to wear it both ways. But I don't know, I think, yeah, I'm gonna have to keep playing with it. Let's move on to the next thing. Okay, you guys, we are in the home stretch, okay? This is one of the final items. I'm not entirely sure how I feel about it, but I purchased it because it reminded me of uh, Jean-Paul Gaultier. He had like this really cool line come out last year that did a lot of like, um, how do I say this? Where it mimicked your body. Some of the items looked kind of like this and then there were some that literally looked like they were like wet, like somebody was draping fabric across your body and then just wetting it. So it was super form fitting and very sexy and created this silhouette of like an hourglass body, even though you didn't necessarily have to have an hourglass body to wear it because it was like printed on the shirt or on the dress or on the pants or whatever it was. So it kind of gave this illusion. And he did it with really cool colors too. So I was like, okay, let me do the blue. It's giving Avatar. 
I never got to see that movie, by the way. But it's giving Avatar. <laughs> and I'm not sure how I feel about it because although I do think it's really cool, um, I think I would have like preferred something even tighter than this. And I'm like, I'm sure you're looking at me like, Taylor, it, it fits well, like it's tight. But I'm like, I like stuff to be super duper tight. And I don't know why, because it's so annoying, like flat on, sorry, it's so annoying because like head on, I feel like I look like I have a super flat stomach. And then you turn to the side and it's like, like, what is this? Like, where, where does this fat come from? Like, I watch what I eat. I work out like, go away. Like. I'm not really big into surgery. I've never gotten any surgery, but I might have to invest in some lipo one day. If it bothers me enough, I might have to get some lipo. I don't want to deal with the scars, but it would be nice to have stomach going flat flat and the ass on what's that? Okay, but anyway. What do y'all think of this dress, okay? I'm going to show you how it looks in the back. It's not as like cool in the back as it is in the front, but let me do it on this side. So that's how it looks in the back. It doesn't like form the booty the way it like forms the breast and like the, the hips and stuff here. But I mean, it's still doing something. I'm not really sure how I feel about it. It's very different and it's very unique. And I did a poll on my Instagram and like 80% of people really liked it and 20% of people didn't really care for it. So I mean, obviously majority of people liked it, but I'm just like, is it too weird even for me? Like I live in Austin. Where am I going with this? I don't know. I gotta think about it. What do you guys think in the comments? Please let me know. Should I return it or not? Um, what, what do I want to say about it? Like the quality of the dress seems really nice. Like this isn't your like fly by night, like, you know, oh, I'm going to wash this and wear it one time and it's going to be destroyed. This is not that type of material. Like if I can get a little bit closer, like this is like a smooth material, like, and it's printed on, it's, it's a very nice material. It's. It's giving like a similar to material to what that, um, uh, do I have it? No, I probably was in another video, but it's giving like shapewear material without the compression. Like think skims, like it's giving that kind of material. Not sure if um, that's the best way to describe it, but that's how it feels. It feels like what like a lot of skims like turtlenecks and like body suits and stuff are made out of not the compression garments like those type of items so i do really like it it's definitely giving hourglass and i am more on the hourglass shape um even though i used to feel like i was more of a pair because i was so small busted but i feel like because of my shoulders and my hips I feel like that's what makes me the hourglass, the shoulders and the hips and the, the waist. Even though I still don't know what the hell's going on in the side. We don't have to just figure that out. But I'm gonna do one little twirl. And again, please sound off in the comments if you think I should keep this dress or just if you have any feelings about it at all. It's giving avatar, it's giving avatar. <laughs> okay I do feel like this is kind of giving Miami vacation vibes no I feel like somebody would wear this in Miami no problem congratulations you guys you made it to the end these are the last two items and I like the skirt this is a super duper 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 mini skirt okay like but it's thick and it's tight and it's very stretchy like I love it I originally had the corset top to match this. Um, I got it in a medium because the skirt is in a medium, but I felt like it was a little too big, so I took it back. But then I was like, I don't feel like I need the shirt. So I just kept the skirt. And um, I haven't worn it yet, but I know that one day I will. And this top, 
I really like a lot. I do have on a bra, but it's, um, oh, oh wait, okay, I can wear a bra with it. Okay, well, I guess I just have to pull the bra down. But um, it's like this backless type of top, um, and it has like a little string here for the, the sleeves. I don't know if you guys can see that, but it's really cool. I just think that the fit of it in the front is not for me. Like, I originally got it because I really liked that. I've never seen a shirt that was kind of like just barely over my shoulders. But I have such broad shoulders that I don't think it looks on me like how it looked on the models or some of the other girls that I saw wearing it. So I think I'm gonna turn this, even though it wasn't super expensive. I just don't need it. It's not doing anything for me whatsoever. It is really cute in the back though, I will give it that. But I don't think I need it. But the skirt, definitely keeping. Um, I can't wait to figure out how to wear this. And I like that it's like, doesn't automatically go all the way up. Like I feel with the right outfit, this is, this is gonna be a look. I just gotta pair it, like I said, with the right things to make a complete outfit, tell a complete story. But I, as a thick person, don't really get to wear stuff like this because of it riding up so much. And this is like the perfect length where it's not really gonna go up too much more than that. Um, I'm trying to make it go up, it's not. It's just really not going up that much, so. Yeah, I really like it and again, if you guys have any comments on how I could wear this or how I could style this, please let me know. But that is going to be all for this video. Thank you so much for watching. I appreciate you guys so much because these videos be long and they're also a little bit difficult to make because of how long they take. And I'm sure I could make them a lot shorter if I talked a lot less, but I'm going to give you my real like first impressions, my real thoughts, whether I really loved it, whether I really hate it. And I hope that one day down the road I can work with other clothing brands and stuff and um, be sponsored and, and give like my honest opinion for a lot of these stores that I shop on my own naturally. So yeah, just putting that out in the universe for 2023. But like I said, thank you so much for watching. Please sound off in the comments, give me your two cents. And I'll see you in the next one. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Bye!